I'm Nay or Lonnie, whatever you prefer, and I'm just gonna ask you some things. Um, first, I wanna say that I discovered you on TikTok literally like two weeks ago. Okay. And it just came on my For You page, instantly became a fan, um, and I've just been talking about you ever since. So my first, at least my first question, how do you feel about blowing up that way instead of the old fashioned way? I mean, if you, you I know, like, how, like, like people finding you out, finding out like on TikTok, social media, I know the times are different. Like, especially we're the same age, we grew up on hip hop and music. I would hear stuff from my dad, and on, I was on CDs and yeah. stuff like that, you know. So, I, I social wish, media is a little different these days, yeah. It's definitely so. easier, but I do for sure wish that like handing the CDs out the trunk was still a thing, yeah. Because that right there, like I said, word of mouth is definitely what my foundation has been on, mm -hmm. and uh, TikTok really TikTok, you know, because TikTok is on sleep, one yeah, way. Like, <laughs> sleep, Japan, and that more, way. yeah. You know, and when that's leave, my off bitch ass is awake. So, <laughs> you know, it, it, it was, it's was it been fast. I think that's the only thing different. It's just, it's just been fast. Because of social media. I, I, I def, like I said, I definitely wish I got the hand CDs out. You know, um, I wish I was more front line with it. But either way, I'm just grateful I'm here. Yeah, I, I always find it's funny doing it that way just yeah. because... Again, like I said, we've discovered differently SoundCloud era, you know, now Apple Music's a thing, but I was like, I've been bragging about you ever since. So I'm like telling my friends, you know, telling everybody came across, y'all listening in, yeah. you know, playing in the car. I was just in LA, I was with my friends, and they knew who you were. And yeah, I was like, is. thank God, because I'm like, I don't want nobody to think that I'm like just listening, you know, yeah. but I'm like, no, he's really dope, and that's no, good that other good. people are on to him. Yeah. And then you being young too, that's really, I get, I just graduated college, I get with the world is different for us these days. So I get the adulting and being on your own and stuff is crazy. Yeah. So, um, I know my dad kind of asked this a little bit, but if you could have any career besides rapping, what would you do? Well, what did you want to be when you, got, when you were a kid? Did you always want to be a rapper? No, nah, I wanted to be a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, as a, I remember I was in Phoenix, and uh, I, had, I had family in Phoenix, and you know those people, like, they'll, they'll draw you, but exaggerate your hair. Yeah. And, they were like, so what do you want to be when you're older? And I'll draw you as that. I said, a film. Oh, you drew me as a film? Uh, drew me as a film. You had that big dream. Yeah. <laughs> so I wasn't rapping something like that, asking girls for money. <laughs> um, so almost done, but um, what's the, your favorite song that you've ever made? Uh, I don't know, because I feel like every time, like I'll write one, I'll be like, it's my favorite song, it can't get better. And yeah. then I'll write another one, and that's my favorite song, and it can't get better. <laughs> um, so what do you hope for for your career right before the year is out? Like, what do you want to do since you just put this project out? John Dane's your, um, your biggest single, it seems, and do you just feel like that you want to just keep working on your next project? Do you want to start getting some shows locked in for next year? What do you see yourself doing? I'm doing all of it. More music, more shows. I'm just excited to sell out like stadiums already. Yeah. Like I want to be performing halftime at the Super Bowl already. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm just ready for big shows. I'm ready. I'm ready to. Uh, I'm ready to just feel the crowd shake the ground. You know, yeah. like I, uh, I've seen shows where like. You know, dudes walk out there and they just handed the mic and like yeah, the crowd sing it, you know, like it's acapella, they're singing yeah. it. And I think that's a beautiful thing, you know, because uh, a lot of people down me my whole life, family and friends. And um, it just sucked, you know what I'm saying, getting the ugly stick of the end. So like, you know, those beautiful moments to me are very special because, you know, everybody hated me. And eventually, I hated myself because I believed them, mm -hmm. and um, and I hated everything about myself. And now it's crazy because it's my career to be myself. Yeah, I do enjoy, you know, like Jay said earlier. I've I've caught up on your podcast, and I think you're really funny. I want a pet chicken, so yeah. that's now my influence. Pet chicken, I was holding her name. It's pretty lady. I mean, that's my influence because I've been asking for a chicken since I was a kid. I want yeah. a pig and a chicken. I want a, ra I want a raccoon. <laughs> Okay, now it's pushing me. <laughs> nah, raccoons are cool. They're just so dirty. Raccoons are cool as fuck. Somebody, you know what? All right, so we got wards out there, like Third Ward and yeah. shit like that. And uh, he and Third Ward. And he got a raccoon. And that, like, he'll be like, hold. And he'll hold. And then he'll walk like 15, 20 feet. And he'll be like, all right, come. And he'll come. Like and a dog. Crawl up his leg and sit on his shoulder. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, the raccoon yeah. cool as hell. If he's like Rocky raccoons, from Guardians. Raccoons got dogs. <laughs> 
Yeah, if, but if he's like Rocket from Guardians, then I would want him. I don't want he one that's dig in my trash can. Can <laughs> so if you you know anything, it'd be time. I know, but but glad I discovered you. Thank you for taking time to answer my questions. Like I said, huge fan. I wish I would discover you sooner because I'm a big hip hop rap person, and I'm always looking for who to listen to and put on. And I think my favorite thing about you is that you pronounce all your words by rolling them. Yeah. I took three Spanish and I cannot speak good Spanish. And and mine so is, that, mine I is, like that. Yeah, I don't think mine is a Spanish thing though. Like you gotta understand I grew up in the hood. Uh -huh. So like, uh, all words are very slurred. Like, yeah. My words run into each mm -hmm. other. So like, uh, the more louder we get, it just come out naturally. Yeah. Cause like they're just rolling right, into together. each other. Yeah. But I do think that separates you from a lot of artists that you're either coming up or, you know, today. It's just that you have a unique sound and you're, you're standing out, yeah. you're comfortable, you come, you know, you're not flashy. And I feel like those are the most humble rappers or most humble artists and they become the most successful. Mm -hmm. Kendrick and J. Cole, for example, they're not flashy. <laughs> they're big yeah, okay, artists. so he's not a rapper, but he's by far a legend in almost anything. Mm -hmm. And Adam Sandler. Yes, I love yeah. him too. I'm yeah. a huge Adam Sandler. And he's not flashy at all. So. Not, uh, like he still walk around with Nike slides. Yeah, basketball know. shorts. Man, I love that, yeah. bro. Like, That's good. Yeah, I still probably wear it. Like if the M1 shorts were, like if they still <laughs> made those, you know what I'm Come saying? I definitely yeah. still be wearing them. For sure. Thank you again. It was nice of course, meeting I'm you. Yes, nice meeting you.